What's good, my beautiful dingleberries? Today I'm back out here at the coast because my last couple of fishing trips have been terrible. Uh, I went to Berryessa a few days ago and I got skunked because I didn't have a lot of time to fish, first and foremost. And secondly, the water was extremely murky. There was less than six inches of visibility because of all the rain that we've been getting. So, you know, all the sediment at the bottom of the lake is all stirred up and shit. So that just made the fishing extremely tough. And, you know, I, I got skunked, which really sucks because oh, I've been really wanting to catch my first bass of 2019. And unfortunately, that hasn't happened yet. But later on this week, I'm planning on making a trip out to Comanche. I'm going to rent a boat with a few of my boys. And hopefully then, I'll catch my first bass of the year. Okay, now with that being said, I'm going to grab all my shit and head down to the beach. So, I will see you beautiful sons of bitches in a minute. There you go, there's one, yes, yes. There's one, yeah. Feels actually kind of decent. He hit it pretty hard. Might be a little guy, but uh, damn, he slammed the sandworm hard. Shit. <laughs> First fish of the day. Woo. Come in here, bubber. Come on, come on, come on. Chill out, oh yeah, dude, it's a solid fish. <laughs> Yeah! Alright folks, check it out. First surf perch of the day. He's got a nasty bite mark here. Probably from like a seal or a sea lion. But uh, he's definitely a solid surf perch. Probably a roughly around 12 to 13 inches I'd say. A little over a pound or maybe just out a pound. And uh, yeah, what a beauty. Alright buddy, deuces. There you go, there's one. Yep, there you go, there's one, there's a fish. Yep. This one really had a subtle bite. <laughs> there we go, that explains why. It's a uh, little dinky barred surf perch. But hey, it's the second fish of the day. And I'll sure as I'll take it. Awesome. Okie dokie buddy, see ya. There we go. There's another one. Another dink. That's for sure. Ain't fighting too hard. Woo! But hey, third fish of the day. <laughs> oh man, I love the surf. Right now, the surf bite is just too good. It's just too damn good. <laughs> oh, f bass fishing, y'all. <laughs> surf fishing for the win, motherfuckers. Yeah! Alrighty, little dude, see ya! There you go, there's one! I think. Oh no. Oh! Son of a bitch! Oh, keep losing them! Damn it! Getting a lot of bites, but I'm just fucking losing them! Shit. There we go. There's one. Yes. Got a bite. Yeah. Finally. It's been like 30 minutes since I caught my last fish. <laughs> Bites definitely slow down a bit. But uh, hey, caught my fourth fish of the day. I'm definitely happy. <laughs> Is this one a red? And no, it's a bard. Damn. <laughs> I really want to catch a red tail today. Whew. But you know what? If I catch bards all day, that's cool. I ain't complaining. That's for damn sure. <laughs> okay, buddy. See ya. There we go. There's one. Yes. Yep. Hooked up, baby. <laughs> yeah. 
Coming here, buddy. Feels pretty decent. Damn, it's fighting pretty well, actually. Holy shit. Come here. This might be a red tail. This might be a red tail. If not, it's got to be a solid barred surf perch to fight uh, this hard. Woo! Uh, not as big as I hoped, but uh, damn. Still fought. Oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> He's actually pretty solid. What the f am I talking about? <laughs> Yeah, this, this is a solid barred surf perch for sure, folks. Yeah! Woo, woo, woo! Okie dokie, buddy. See ya! Alrighty, folks. I've been fishing for about two hours now. And within that time frame, I've managed to catch five barred surf perch so far. So I'm pretty content with my day because, you know, I didn't have a lot of time to fish today and i wasn't sure if i was gonna get skunked or not because like i said earlier my last couple of fishing trips have been an absolute disaster so i'm really glad to just be catching fish today and yeah i truly cannot complain the bite definitely is a bit slow today and i haven't caught any jumbos yet but it's cool i mean i beat the skunk and that's all that really matters so with that being said i'm gonna keep on fishing and hopefully within the next Friday. 30, 30, blah, blah, blah. hopefully within the next 30 minutes, I'll catch a couple more fish. So we'll see what happens. I'll see you motherfuckers in a second. All right, folks, I'm back at home now after a really chill ass afternoon surf fishing session. Just like I mentioned earlier, the bite was a bit tough today, but I still managed to catch two decent barred surf perch and honestly, with all things considered, today was definitely a success for me because I got skunked at Berryessa and the last time I went surf fishing, I lost a Lucky Craft Flash Minnow and that was my only lure that I brought with me that day. So I got skunked at the beach, lost an expensive lure. Well, not really expensive, but you know, you know, a little, a little pricey. I'm broke as shit, so you know, a little bit pricey, y'all, y'all, y'all. Anyways, enough dwelling on the past. Let's talk about the future or the near future, so to speak. Today, when I got home, I received a package, and inside that package contains some rock fishing lures and jig heads. I copped two different sized Kitex swim baits. This one is the 2.8 Kitex swim bait in green pumpkin color. And this one is the uh, electric shad. This is the 4.8 inch Kitex. So definitely a lot girthier, a lot, you know, a lot longer, you know. This is probably the size of my dick. Erected. Now nah, I'm just playing y'all. This is a more accurate representation of my dick size. Erected, of course. <laughs> hey, don't be laughing at me. I see y'all laughing. That ain't funny. Small dicks need some love too, you know? Okay, now for the jig heads, I got a camo colored one ounce jig head. This is pretty damn big. And so it's obviously, obviously for the 4.8 Kitek. And then I got a red colored half ounce jig head. This is gonna be for the um, smaller Kitek, the 2.8, as well as the silver Kitek, not Kitek, the silver Warbaits jig head, 3 8 ounce. This is definitely the lightest one that I have. And the reason why I got this one is cause this can be used for bass fishing and rock fishing but i don't think this one's gonna do too well for rock fishing because you know when the waves get nasty out there the lure is gonna be blown around like crazy if it is super light but hey you never know you know on calm days maybe the 3 8 will shine better you know for a more subtle finessey kind of approach now for all my bass fishing fans i know some of y'all have been dying to see a bass fishing video and unfortunately um, I haven't been doing too well when it comes to bass fishing, but uh, make no mistake, I will get my redemption at Berryessa, and um, I may or may not go to Comanche. Uh, I've decided that I, because uh, I just got these, you know, rockfish lures and shit, I might go for a rockfish instead, um, just because it's a species of fish that I've never ever caught before, and I really want to 
check that species off my list. So, you know, I might go rock fishing or I might just stick with my original plan and go bass fishing with my boys at Comanche. So, uh, yeah, don't really, really, don't really, really, <laughs> don't really know where I'm going to go next. But uh, all I can promise y'all is that some uh, dope videos are going to be coming your way, be it rock fishing or bass fishing. And uh, with that being said, it's time for me to sign out now. So I will see you beautiful dingleberries on me next fishing trip. Peace out, motherfuckers.